Hey yo, this SV Twitch, the hub blogger. And I gotta say, man, I actually had to go and do the proper due diligence on T Mac. And I just gotta say before I continue, when I put these out and put these stories out, try to keep these hood legends names alive and carrying it, how somebody from the city should be carrying it. Sometimes you might hear a video and the detail or two might be off. What we have to remember is at the end of the day, bro, even if somebody from your hood got their life taken, it's always two, three, four, five stories on what occurred. So y'all got to work with me because I'm doing my best to try to give out accurate stories. And with that being said, if it's any stories out there that I ever put out on the channel, if somebody was close to this person, really was around when, the, when these things occur and y'all feel like a detail was maybe off, DM me, man. Underscore twist 215. I'm from the streets at the end of the day, bro. And I'm trying to carry it in the lane that need to be carried because I'm not just covering rappers on this channel. I'm not just going to carry hood legends on this channel. I'm going to also carry young kids that got their lives taken. I'm taking this in a whole different lane, bro. And if you have a story that you feel like needs to be out there, if you're from the city of Philly, or even in the tri-state, or even in the world, period. If you six states over, bro, we're going to make it happen. But definitely if you in the city of Philly, you know, we're going to carry it how we can carry it, bro. And for anybody else that might have a story that needs to be out there, DM me, underscore twist 215. I got stories myself that I'm going to eventually, you know, let go because all of us that grew up in the in the trenches, grew up in these hoods. We all done lost our families to gun violence, to, you know, violence in the streets, period. Now, with that being said, today, I'm going to give y'all the full story on what happened with T-Mac. Now, this right here is going to be the first channel that y'all gonna ever hear this story from. And with that being said, make sure y'all like, sub, share, show some love, man. Show some love because what I'm doing right here is, you know, I'm digging deep. You dig what I'm saying? Like we getting into to these, these full details and everything without doing any incriminating or anything of that nature. But with that being said, today, I present to y'all the true story of the murder of T-Mac. May Allah make his grave gracious because at the end of the day, it don't matter who you are or what you did, as long as you wasn't doing nothing, affecting no children or anything of that nature, Everybody deserves to get forgiven. And with that being said, a lot of people grow up to the circumstances of their life. But I'm not going to talk too much. Just know this SV Twiz the Hood blogger. I am the streets. Now I want everybody to come take this walk with me on the dark side. The dark side of the streets of Philly. Tracy Briscoe, a.k.a. T Mac. Now we heard T Mac get mentioned by OBH. We heard T Mac get mentioned as a stepper. But one thing we gotta realize is before T Mac became what he ended up being, he was a normal kid like the rest of us growing up. The question is what made T Mac become who he became? 
No, if I could answer that, I would say it was the things that he was able to see when he stepped off the porch. And he stepped off the porch at a young age. You already know how I carry it, man. Man, today, I'm honored to have Brother Sadiq in the building. And y'all know I did the video on T-Mac and Rico Sama, but, you know, Sadiq, this T-Mac OG right here, man, and, and, you know, he definitely credible in the city. And we're going to get into the real details about the situation because I know people was asking and all that, but I'm going to just swing it over to Brother Sadiq and, you know what I'm saying, Sadiq, salute, bro. Let the people know, you know, who you are and, you know what I'm saying, what the situation is. What's up, Mr. SB? For the most personal formal, as alaykum to my brother. Uh, alaykum salam to Allah, you better got to. Oh, uh, man. Well, you know, I'm, like you said, my name is Sadiq. Like most people, a lot of people know me as B or B Bogart. You know what I mean? That's what the street call me. But uh, for the for, for the most of the most, like I really wanted to do this video, bro, because you know, man, you, you talk. I told you, like a lot of these youngs wasn't like like I be I be in the crib, like I'm like I was a street boy, but like I'm also far back, I'm also OG. So I'm chilling there, also laying back. You feel me? So I be in the crib, I be looking at a lot of stuff, and I be saying, "Youngs, those youngs wasn't special." What I seen is Jones a couple of years. Jones, I'm like, bro, bro, Jones official, man. He was like, really, like, kind of on point, like, cause you know, you talking about people like I know. Now I'm saying these cats from my my hood. You feel me? So it ain't like I'm a dude from um East Bubba here or, or Chicago or whatever, and I'm just watching these Jones like, just you know, just tuning in, like, damn. I know I'm tuning in, but I know who you talking about. Like these, my yes. young, you know what I'm saying? Met, and even the situations that you know other people that you know that he was going through stuff with other people too. They all my young, all of them, both sides. Oh, uh, like most every most my like the average kid, you see him running around the hood playing. You know what I mean? I know his mother. I know his mom. His dad. But they, they all good people. I can't say nothing bad about none of them. You know what I'm saying? Even Big Tracy is pop. But, um, yeah, he was like the average kid, man. He ran around the hood, played at the playground. He, you know, his block was on the playground. He's from 12th Street, 12th and Cambridge. Thanks. You know what I mean? So he definitely, he, it wasn't nothing for you to see little, well, we, we called him back then, little Tracy. You know what I'm saying? Running around through the through the playground or through the badlands, running around the hood. Seen him all, all the time. He wasn't a kid that 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 you know what I'm saying. He was out there as a kid. Yeah, you know I mean, not man, I mean not even on the wild stuff. He was out in the streets playing around. Philadelphia police have arrested two men responsible for allegedly shooting a couple and stealing their 2001 Mercury in North Philly early Saturday. And you know, we play with them Grand Marquises heavy out the city of Philly. So nine times out of 10, that was a Grand Mark that they was trying to take. At about 2.40 a.m. Saturday, Tracy Briscoe, 18, and Kareem Long, 20, allegedly approached the vehicle on the 3000 block of Germantown Ave near Indiana Ave. Police said Briscoe shot through the passenger side window and injured the 26 year old male driver and his 19 year old girlfriend in the passenger seat. The driver suffered a shot in the chest and right arm and his girlfriend was hit in the thigh. Both victims escaped the vehicle through the passenger door as Long jumped into the driver's seat and drove away with the car. Both victims were transported to Temple University Hospital. They have been treated and released, police said. Briscoe and Long were arrested minutes after the carjacking in Briscoe's home on the 2900 block of North 12th Street. Long from the 2400 block of North 10th Street was with Briscoe. Both men are being charged with criminal conspiracy and aggravated related charges. Excuse me, aggravated assault related charges. With that being said, eventually T Mac and his folks they ended up beating the case. So T Mac comes home from that 
and people already knew what it was for T Mac as far as like you know he would catch wreck in a heartbeat. He was a straight savage in the streets of Philly. He had grown men scared. He had definitely the people in his age group scared. But with that being said, it's always somebody that ain't going for that. It's always somebody that feel like, you know, at the end of the day, I know how this person carry it. So if he ever come my way, I know how I got to deal with it. Oh, well, the first, the first time I ran into Youngin, I was in my car. I had pulled up on his block at the corner store. The corner store is at 12th of Indiana. That's the corner of his block. He is he in between Cambria and Indiana. 12th was the 12th Street. His block is 12th Street. So I pulled up to the store to get out. You know, when I get uh, got my stuff, I came back out the store. I heard somebody call my name. So I turned around, but I heard somebody he like, oh, gee, what's up? But he on some, like, like, rallying stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm looking like, but last time I seen Youngin, Youngin was clean face like mine. You feel me? This little dude looking like a tribal warrior. He got tats all over his whole face, his hair. You know what I'm saying? Beard. Now he got a lick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You feel me, bro? He had no facial hair. None of that. Why I went to jail. You know what I mean? So now I'm looking like, who this dude? You know what I'm saying? Like, and I didn't know I already was running around doing goofy stuff at the time. So I'm like, man, I don't know who this boy is. But so, you know, I I bought some real, keep it real. I clutched on you. <laughs> I clutched on you. So he like, no, nah, OG is me. It's Tracy. Once he said Tracy, that's when I seen his face, bro. I could see my young boy from back in the day. You feel me? So after that, it was all hugs. You know what I'm saying? Pay homage. We busting up. We talking. You feel me? Police have identified the man killed outside a North Philly bar Wednesday night as 19-year-old Tracy Briscoe. Briscoe of North Philadelphia was shot in the head around 8.50 p.m. at the intersection of Germantown and Indiana Avenues. He was taken to Temple University Hospital and pronounced dead shortly after. Police said they recovered the gun from Briscoe's waistband. So T-Mac didn't even get a chance to, you know, pull his gun out and defend himself. Nine times out of ten, he didn't see it coming. Or by the time he realized what was going on, it was too late. Investigators were reviewing their surveillance from the area to see if they captured the incident. Briscoe had numerous run-ins with the law. In November 2011, he and another man were arrested for allegedly shooting the man during the carjacking at the same location where Briscoe was shot. The charges were dropped because the prosecutors did not have enough evidence to prosecute the case. So with that being said, with me being, you know, in and out jail and stuff like that, nine times out of ten, either that case got dismissed in preliminary on lack of prosecution. That's what that sound like. Unless, you know, nine times out of ten it didn't go to trial because, you know, um, the people that got shot, they survived and, you know, they, they didn't basically tell. That's what that says. He was also arrested in February and charged with theft, conspiracy, and related charges. Briscoe pleaded guilty to theft and was sentenced to seven months probation. Police have not released the description of the suspect or suspects or a possible motive. Yeah, I got a little knowledge on it. I wasn't there when it happened, but like I said, I know both parties. Like, both parties is my, my folks. The party, the other side is really, like, I'm close to them. I got mad love for them. I love them, too. I love mm -hmm. all of them. They my young boys, man. I love them. But the um the little the little bit that I do know of that situation, like I said, I wasn't there. You feel me? Like so I really don't even like talking on matters that I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? But I could give you a little bit from from the not from what my from 
stuff that my my temple, my people told me. You know, it was a situation that occurred in the bar. I heard it was really like like really like stupid. Like now we can just back and say it's stupid. I think it was something about a cigarette, with a cigarette or you know what I'm saying? You know, motherfuckers in the people in the bus, you my lane, you know, people in the bar is close, you know, sometimes right. elbow to elbow, you feel me? So situation might have occurred, dude might have got bumped or whatever, and words might have been exchanged and you know it carried on outside. You feel me? But words, like I said, words were exchanged and carried outside and both parties, you know, it escalated into gunplay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was crazy that it had to go that route because, like I said, I watched both parties, like, come up together as, you know, as young boys, you know what I'm saying? But now, dude, it's grown men. Man. At the T-Max, at the T-Max death, bro. It was, it was like my hood. My hood ain't. Like, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna rewind back for a quick second. Mm-hmm. I lost two cousins at the bar. I was telling you about a daughter Somerset, my cousin Stink, and my cousin Crack. After they died, my hood really ain't been the same since then. Like you feel me? Like the hood just was kind of like dry, but it kind of got back a little bit with the era of the young boys. What we talking about now? You know what I'm saying? Like that bar where we talk about the bar was popping. But then we're at the young boy's death. I'm gonna go see fast forward back to the club. When his death occurred, it got bad, bro. I can't say nothing, no other word other than that. It got bad. Like like the hood got bad, bro. Dudes that I seen play together, probably slept in each other's cribs at one time. You know what I mean? Eight to eight and eight at the table with with each other. You feel me? Like tag, play tag, football, sports, basketball, twelve from Cambridge at the playground. These dudes play all play together, bro. Now now is shoot them up. We going we getting at it. We getting active. Like and now, you know, it was dudes like like don't get it messed up. Like it was it was dudes, old dudes, like older dudes that really was on both sides, like mess with both sides, like you try to talk and say something, but it's hard when when it, when the deaths already occurred. You feel me? Like what what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? When the dude already bent your folks, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, dudes ain't trying to hear that. Like we was young too before, so and we was active, so we understand it. We ain't condoning it, but we do understand it. Like you know what I'm saying? If you don't understand it, you ain't from where we from. Like, I want to say, yeah, I must speak on T Mac. Must speak on some other people too. Like T Mac was a good young boy. Like, like the situation that occurred was nutty. It was a nutty situation. You know how we say we could reverse and break, mm-hmm. turn back the hand of time. I know he would. I know my other folks on the other side would. I would if I could. We can't. Unfortunately, we can't. But like, like you said, a lot of people, man, lost their lives. You know what I'm saying? It's other, it's other than T Mac, it's deeper than T Mac. You feel me? My young boy ran. A lot of people, Quinny. You know what I'm saying? The list goes on and on, bro. We got dudes that's locked up for this for certain kind of stuff. Like, it go it go on and on, bro. Like it's just like I said, it was bad, man. It got bad. Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? Things happen, you know what I'm saying? I lost my, my other young my, my young boy Key. Like I miss Keon, man. Love young boy, man. Good dude. Real good dudes, man. Sturdy young boys, man. It's a lot of sturdy young boys that's gone. Because of this dumbass shit that happened. He, he's a thief. Yeah, yeah, I believe he had a couple of children of my mistake. And I know he had one. I know he had, at, at, when he was, when he died, he had, because he had, sick, had a, was pregnant with his baby. <clears throat> so, you know what I'm saying? He, he didn't even get to see that child. I, I, you know what I'm saying? He didn't get to see that baby. He, he he was deceased before the baby was born. Dang. Yeah, so he definitely was a father, but I believe he had children before that other kids too. I'm not sure how many though. Yeah, for sure, for sure. My message is definitely for the youngins, man. For the youth. Yo, I know I know what a lot of y'all are going through. Because I was going through it myself. 
feel me? A lot of these, a lot of these young boys, they out here, they wilding because they feel like they ain't even got nobody, bro. Like they feel like they ain't love, you feel me? So they going out on the streets and they channeling their anger the wrong way. You feel me? Like I did that. I did 13 years in the penitentiary. Like I got three state numbers, bro. Like it ain't it ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't got a clue because a lot of them ain't never been incarcerated. So cause I was like that but myself. So I ain't never think I was gonna go to jail and none of that. So I was out here shaking and moving and I was running and I was like a rebel without a cause, you feel me? I ain't care. I ain't, I ain't care. And that was my attitude. Excuse my language. I used to say I ain't give a F. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. and that ain't cool to think like that, to feel like that, to be like that. Because if you don't care about yourself, that's bad, bro. Like you, that's real bad. So like when I'm saying what I'm trying to tell y'all young boys, man, like them people don't care about y'all, man. They don't care about y'all. It's a business for them. They want y'all incarcerated. They want y'all in jail. And I ain't figured it out until I was sitting up there, SV Twizzy. I'm sitting up there like, damn. Like, yo, I'm a number. My number, my number, DN 3643. That's my name. You feel me? They don't care who you is. You know what I'm saying? Your status, what you did on the streets, none of that. They don't give a damn about none of that, bro. You up here and you in the drink and, and they getting paid off, you, bro. That's all that matters. You feel me? You a, you a check. So young as man, like don't be a tech, man. Don't be a statistic, man. Like wake up, man. Like I'm telling you right now, like it's not where you want to be. And the time, the guidelines now are way different from the guidelines when we, like dudes like myself, they got an old D number. That's an old number. That's an early number. Like, that's a 90 number. Nine, 97, 98 number. Like, dude, numbers don't lie. Like, how Lil Wayne say, Vic Twizzy, numbers don't lie, bro. Like, a dude can't tell you he got this such and much of time, man, and his state number ain't matching up, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, the dudes that have been down, they know what I'm talking about. They know. But, you know, it ain't worth it, young man. Tighten up, man. And, and, and smarten up. Put them guns down, man. For real. Because they, they, they just trying to, they, they want us to fail, man. They want us to kill each other and, and, and so they can lock us up. They're going to get get one out the way, he did, and you, they get you out of the way, you going to jail, and they're going to get the payday off you. Thanks. So it's a, it's a lose-lose, man, for the, for the, for the us, for the, for the minorities, man, for the black and the browns, man. It's a lose-lose, man. Thanks. Smarten up, y'all. It ain't worth it, man. Take it from a brother that did the time. I already did enough time for all y'all, man. It ain't worth it, man. We out here killing each other and drilling for what? Is y'all doing it for some money? Majority of it ain't even for no money. When we was doing stuff back in the day, bro, a lot of dudes was getting money. Dudes was getting money to impress women, bro. We was getting the the whole, you know what I'm saying? You coming down the block with the fresh car, the the fresh gear and the fly car for the chick. You wasn't doing it for no dude. Now dudes coming down the the block and it's something nice. They mean mugging. You know what I'm saying? Facts. The block. Why are you doing that, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Pay homage, and salute your man. You see a dude, even if you don't know him. If you see you see somebody looking nice and they doing something good, man, that should motivate you. You shouldn't want to take care of this. It should motivate you to say, damn, he got that. I can get it too. 